Hey guys, I'm in Houston, just kind of night crawling. Supposedly Harvey's about a couple of hundred miles away from us, just hit land. We're supposed to get major flooding. I'm just gonna kind of drive around and see if we see any action, any damage, any flooding. I mean, rain on and off. It's about 1 a.m. here. There's nobody on the road. It's like a, a dead city here in Houston. You can see some debris in the road but nothing out of the ordinary really it's like there's something brewing my area floods really bad so I can't sleep so I decided to roam around town and see what was going on not much you know what I mean but no real damage here nothing real crazy because usually, I'll be honest with you, you see all the crazies at night. There's a place called Corpus Christi, which is about two hours away. They're in direct storm. Here, let me show you a picture here. Make sure that cop ain't coming. I don't want to get pulled over. I have to explain to him what I'm doing. Filming, filming porn, sir. Now, that little orange dot, that's where I am. That's us, Houston. And as a result of that big hurricane, I mean, look, man. It's one of the worst to hit the coast in 10 years. I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I've actually helped out during hurricanes and went to help out in Louisiana. I'm pretty sure Corpus Christi is really bad. I mean, we're known to flood after eight or 10 hours of good rain. We are probably gonna flood if it rains for three days here. Hello? Look at me, I'm all Greek with my shirt. Gotta put a big fuzzball of hair out here. Hello. Anyway, popular bar. There are two people in there. Unless they're gonna make out with each other, they are not getting any tonight. You know what I mean? So like here in Houston, I guess we buy all the water, we buy all the bread that we can find or force on, and we buy all the alcohol. So no need to come to a bar pretty much. Remember guys, there's only 18 people here, but it's not size and number, it's girth. It's me. Why am I crazy? It's not It's not bad yet. It's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna start. I don't even think I'll wake up in the morning and it'll be bad. It's flooded. Couldn't get in my neighborhood. So, parked at the supermarket next to me. This is the Houston area though. Uh, Corpus Christi's probably already went through hell. You can see the damage. Thank God these homes have not got hit by water yet. If it stays like this and the water recedes, this neighborhood will be very lucky. If it keeps going, this will be their fourth flood in five years. Ugh. I gotta cross over the street. I hate this part. Ugh. Pretty bad down the street. It's not my first time walking through flood water. Um, it's just my first time recording it. I have to say the first time I walked through flood water, it was a little bit more exciting. I was a little bit more stranded. I was further away from home. I wasn't no like 15 minute water. I'm trying to get home to see if I can watch that McGregor fight. Hopefully somebody on Periscope has got it on or something. This water is pretty high here. Most of the houses here have been raised due to floods already, um, which is pretty cool. Oh, the water is so high. Why? It might be better for me to go. I'm gonna sneak across here. Tie over here up. So there was a car that went down the street that I was gonna go down and it flooded Because he went down that stupid street. So I abandoned I decided to drive the wrong way on the street Made my car got my car to a safe parking spot. Wow. I'm not too far from my house. So I will call you back guys Thank you for watching oh, 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 oh. An alligator come up at me or something you know now I haven't thought this through but there could be a chance that I get home and my house is flooded this is the deepest water I've been in so far this is up to my waist what's up guys hey what's up man uh, I live on uh, the next street but I just put the car over at uh, Rand, uh, Kroger. You think we'll be okay? Yeah. It was just a little bit of effort on my part. I should have done it earlier. So yeah, there are people out here. 
great people. This is one of the best neighborhoods. The people that have raised homes didn't get any water. So they would go around to the one-story homes and ask the people if they need help doing laundry or if they need a place to sleep or if they need them to cook them food. Like, the neighbors here really pitched in. And unfortunately, that last flood happened like a year and a half ago. That was their fourth one in five years. That one drew a lot of good people out of this neighborhood. It was sad to see people that I had known that lived in this area for like 10, 15 years. And, oh, my street is flooded. It's not as high as the other one, but it's high. This is my street. There we go. Need a good shower. I don't know if I'll have water. Oh, it's so deep here. Oh, and it's colder. Ew, hurry up. Ah! It looks like my part of the street is dry. Coming up on it. What a walk. Yes! I probably have like a hundred more steps and it's dry. Yes. Yes, come on guys. Oh my God, probably like 50 more steps dry. I guess this house is under construction, so I stepped on some something. Ow, again. Uh, ah, ah. Ah. Woo -hoo. Oh, man, we made it. Um, certain intersections down there comes up to your waist already, but nobody has water in their house. Nobody on the lawn yet. That's good. We got some movement here. I would not tell this guy to drive anywhere. That guy maybe. How you doing? I wouldn't drive in that one. Huh? You're not driving in that one, are you? Not anymore? Nothing. You're stuck, dude. That's it. It's over. You're stuck. Maybe that truck. I tried to get into the neighborhood with my car. I left it at Kroger. And I walked. There's no way. There's, I, I walked all the way from. It's no way out. Don't go. You you just be this way. No way in hell. The, the deepest intersection is the next intersection over. Comes up to here. So even this one will come up to here on me. Is that right? At the end of the street, where are you gonna go? Stay safe, man. Trust me. Bunker down. Bunker down. Or maybe the truck. The worst intersection is the one over. That comes up to here on me. This down here comes to here on me. Not going anywhere. No way. No way. I, I tried to come in with my Mercedes. I just left it at Kroger and walked. Good luck, guys. I don't think they should go anywhere either. Yeah. Just turn around, boss. That's about it. Hey, CO. Did you get my dad or no? Cartagena already floated. They called me. It's bad, Fatso. It's bad. But I want you guys to do a periscope and show me how it looks outside the house over there. Just up here in my attic. Pretty much lost everything, you know, like not family and friends and health, I guess, personal belongings. At five o'clock in the morning, um, this is what happened. But I managed to get up there. And there's more tornado threatening emergency. Stay put is safe. Call not one for life threatening emergencies only. Stay put is safe. Well. There was a moment there that I was thinking about calling them, but I'm pretty healthy. I can swim. No, knee deep in it. This is my house right now. I lost everything. Everything in my house was bunkered down in the attic for a while. I don't need assistance. I'm okay. I think the water's going down. I might need some help. I don't know. Emotionally, financially, I don't know. That's my bathroom. Completely flooded. This is my living room. 
fridge is over there. I could walk out of here. And there's been people like going around on boats, like nice boats, and those slow paddle boards that they have in California and stuff. And you know, at any time I could jump on one of those and bail out of here. I'm just worried about my car. Yeah, I'm not gonna go drive my car or anything like that. I'm just worried about it to see if it flooded because that's my means of income. I have no food. Pretty much only in my boxers. That's about it. Survived the storm. I think that might be a military vehicle because there's usually not vehicles that high up. Yeah, see? You hear him? He's not bad. Well, motherfucker, come pick my ass up. Bring a pizza. People are calling for help. I gotta go, guys. If I needed help, I don't need help, but somebody here is screaming for help. Hello? Hey, are you okay? Where are you? What's wrong? Where are you guys? Oh, you're there. Oh, you're on the roof. Yeah. There's some guys going around on a boat. They're a bunch of young kids. They're going around the neighborhood on a wakeboard and a, and a boat. Do you need medical attention? Anybody have any ideas how I can help these people? Does anybody have a boat? Hello? We need help here in Meyerland. Is everybody okay that's with you though? Marlene, what I would do is I would, uh, I would shoot a text message or something to uh, local Fox 26 News, give them my name on Periscope and tell them this is where I am. They called the National Guard. You gotta get the news in on this, Fox 26 or something. I, I hear other people screaming over there that they need help, but I don't know if I should walk over there. Maybe I should get on the roof. Should I get on the roof? Marlene, what should I do? Should I go around the corner to see if they're okay or should I stay put? I don't know why the mayor said to stay. Um, you know, I guess they're thinking the eye of the storm ain't coming here. The storm is 300 miles away. You know, now don't mention gators, okay? I'm standing in the water right here. Let's not talk about gators or snakes, okay? Or even sharks, okay? Don't even mention sharks. Now I'm starting to feel shit on my leg. Well, it's my attic where I stayed overnight. About to walk my ass out of here. Only thing is, I need a bag. Somewhat, something. I had a bag or something. But I can't find it now. Kind of panicking. Hey guys, I'm about to bail. So I don't know if you want to watch this walk, but I'm about to walk. I got a bag and I got another phone I need to grab and then it's going to be a fucking walk of a lifetime. The way I look at it is, there's probably out there people that do need help. I'm pretty sure. They don't need to waste their time helping me. Wet clothes. I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for the update. That's what I needed. Some people to motivate my ass to get out of here. Doing the old tucking shirt up here. So keep it dry. Yeah, I like your idea, sir. Put it in a trash bag. That's what I'm gonna do. My girlfriend's calling me. She's also watching this. Hello? Hey, what's up, Fanny? Did you get my message? Something about a computer, put it on top of a fridge. Yeah, I, uh, that's in the back of my Mercedes in the trunk. Okay, and the purse, my purse was hanging there? Yeah. Put it on top, on the drawers, on top. I have all my credit cards there, so you know I don't lose anything. Well, Fatter, that bag is coming with me. I don't know if you're watching Periscope. Is this the bag you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, this is coming with me. Oh, no, it is? Oh, you can just leave. I don't think the water will go up that high. It's, it's not for you. It's because it's got my stuff in it, but I need it to get out of here. Oh, okay. I just don't want you carrying a lot of stuff. That's it. That's all I'm carrying. Okay. Well, be careful. Everybody here on Periscope is telling me to bail right now while it's dry. I'm bailing, guys. It's never been this high. going really, really slowly, so I'm afraid that if it rains more, we are going to get flooded here, too. I'm scared of a lot of shit. But we're going to go. Oh, I can hear helicopters. That guy's on his roof with a dog. Oh, is that cold? <sighs> no, I haven't seen him. I'm gonna go look. How am I gonna save somebody? Huh? I'm trying to get out of here. Go to Kroger. 
But I know you're 4910 Glen Meadow. So when I get somewhere, the first thing I'm going to do is say, go to 4910 Glen Meadow. Thank you. And if I can, I'll come with them. Thank you. It'd be nice to step on their steps. Get dry for a little bit. But that would just impede my progress. Where am I going? To dry land. I know where it's dry. It's going to take me an hour. The wind is just one inch this way, one inch that way pushes me. Water? No, it's pretty warm. I've been in colder water. I probably will be sick. Every time I've stepped in flood water, two, three days later, I got sick. Every time. You need to get a stick to check the water depth. Well, to make you happy, I am a water stick. I'm about 5'10". The water is about 5'5". Five five. There's your water stick. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. Just keep going. I could go a lot faster if I wasn't on Periscope. Dry land. I know how to get there. It's just getting really high here. I should have. Okay, it's getting too high here. I gotta get off. This is Meyerland. I was what? going Other through this have... water yeah, and then these guys. The from Bel -Air to here. I think your name is Tom? Thomas. Thomas? Your name? Declan. Your name? Richard. Richard. Hey, surfer, what's your name? Liam. Liam, how you doing, Liam? These are the guys that saved me. They also rescued him. What's your name, sir? Akeem. Akeem. And? And we got two beautiful children. We're coming back around. We've got helicopters in the room. There. These kids right here, man, are just going non-stop. I've seen them since the morning. When I first saw them, I didn't ask for help because I thought they were, I was okay. Um, but they've just been going non-stop, back and forth, picking people up. That helicopter has just been uh, getting people off the roofs. This is like unreal, driving a boat on like Yeah, through the street, living. right? <laughs> I feel like you're in the swamp with all these trees. I've, I've lived here for 15 years. 15? There are certain houses on these streets that never flooded. This yeah. time they flooded. Yeah. So the last one on our street on the right, that was originally the architect who developed all, like did the design for these houses. His house is oh, a little yeah, bit higher. Yeah. His never flooded. They got water today. It, it, like everybody has to get water unless you raised it like a lot. Yeah. That's a, that's a... This area is done. That's it. Yeah. It's done. That's it. That was. This was it. This yeah, was this it. Yeah, killed them. This is it. All the Glen Meadow, they need help. They're stranded on Glen Meadow. I'm trying to head to Val Keith right now. Okay, yeah, let's test one now. No, where are you guys going? Oh, oh, where are we going? Where are we going, Sass? Uh, we can drop you off at Kroger. Is that the highest point? Yeah. yeah. yeah no, I would not true. stay There's anywhere in this neighborhood. Okay. Let's go to this. They'll have, have rescue they'll have yeah, supplies. Yeah. They'll have yeah, water. Everything. They'll have everything. They have them. They just can't get it to us. Being helpless, though, is the worst feeling in the world. Oh and I can see it. I can see it in you. Because I've had those moments myself. You feel helpless and you got the kids. But then you see these young guys come along. Happy-go-lucky. You need a ride. Yeah, I'll take you. Yeah, I'll take you. No problem. Like, you guys do not know how we are panicking inside our houses. You do not know. Okay. Hey, bring that laughter down to those guys. Everybody's panicking, man. Keep the keep the keep it up, man. Keep it going. People there are panicking. Hey, Richard, Richard, don't bring it up more. more. Yes, this is Houston. There's people on their roof. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the SWAT truck. Push it back. Push it back this way, guys.
what you do not want to see when you make a right turn. Holy shit. You can't really tell right now, but there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven police officers. They're from San Antonio. They're all from San Antonio. This is crazy. They're coming to help because I guess they're scared that we're the, the people out there that are looting are organized, you know? And I guess we can't keep up with it. They're going house to house, Dad. Is that what they're doing? I can't get by because of the car. Did they survive? Yeah, here's their balloon. Here, yeah. Well, they the No, they flooded. Did they spread the bottom They flooded. See, it came up to the window. It flooded. Oh, the poor guy, man, he spent all that money on it. So this was the house that had the aqua dam. And this was a big talk in our neighborhood to see if this was hold up. And if it did hold up, a lot of people were gonna go ahead and purchase this. But as you can tell by the marks on the house, it got over. These people used the fire hydrant here. They got some employees. This thing was lifted up all around the house, but they still, still, still took on water. I can tell from inside. I, I don't feel right uh, stepping on people's property, but it's a great idea, this aqua dam, but we just got too much water. And I, I've seen it work before. Uh, these are the kids that saved me. They live here. That's the boat that rescued me. I'm gonna go by later and bother them. You know. They're not home though. Looks like their house got a little bit wet. I was praying that they didn't. That somehow survived. Happy anniversary. Uh, people are still not fully back yet. There's a lot of houses. And unfortunately, nothing you can do. You know, the people aren't back yet. And that's my house. My bird has been acting nuts ever since we evacuated from Hurricane Harvey. Very loving bird, but he bit me here. He bit me on my nose. That was a couple of days ago. As soon as I came back um, from the storm, pretty much within that 24 hours, I was bit like three times. Um, he won't stop screaming. He won't stop yelling. So my idea is to take him back to the house and show him like, hey, dude, this is why we're not going back. Well, Ty's pretty upset to see his house and all the mess around the street. Ty, are you upset? You're okay, just fine. All your stuff is fine. I know your stuff got ruined. You're a pretty boy. It's just me and her. So. I think this is the last, pretty much the last part of the house we have left. This and the laundry room back there and maybe a closet. Um, this room is pretty much cleared out. We just got to get this table out of here and that little desk dresser. Um, we did the carpet today. Uh, we did the carpet today in here and all the stuff in there. We got these two bedrooms. This closet's going to be hell. We don't even want to start. And then we've got these two over here. So we're going to keep going. This is the progress we've been making so far. This is the one employee I've hired. We've been at this for five days. we got to keep going because she's got to go back to work again on Monday. And I can't have her coming here every day after work and working here for another three hours. So it's just been me and her. It's progress, but it's a little bit of progress. You know?
survivor of uh, Hurricane Harvey. He refuses to abandon his cage. This is one of his cages, kind of lopsided here. You can see missing a wheel, but Ty is a trooper. Ty does not want to leave. This is his first time being back. He has not been here since the storm. Here's a couple more of his cages. Um, I think they're all salvageable, just need a good cleaning, detox. Um, every time we're home, he just screams non-stop. Ba, 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 like crazy. Over. We feed him, we give him whatever he needs. He's just not settled. He just won't relax. I don't know, maybe it's because of the storm. I thought he would come back here and be traumatized, but no, he seems okay, kind of like back at home. Nothing really seems to bother him. My wife wanted to bring him here, and... Um, he misses. He looks at the yeah. squirrels, his um, friends. For those of you who kind of want to understand, uh, off topic, yeah, we got about four feet of water in this house all throughout the neighborhood. Everybody's pulling out everything. But Ty is safe. Ty was not here during the storm. I think he just wants his cages. And a big window like that. Birds love that. He would just sit there all day and look outside. This is how they pick everything up. These guys are working here, and they requested the therapeutic tie to the rescue. It's gonna come help them out a little bit. There's a little thing right there, you can see that. That'll spin over after they're done filling it up completely and cover it, tarp it over. He's not working right now because he's focused on ties, so we're slowing down the neighborhood, but it's for a good cause. You guys want a picture or anything with him? Where's your phone? Hey, you got your phone? That's Ty, we brought him to meet all the neighbors because it's been very antsy. He's loving all the attention. No, he's the only one. This is Ty in action doing his therapeutic things. These people lost their home. And those, uh, you know, we're told wash and sterilize. What are you doing, Ty? To sum up the day, okay, good job, Ty. Um, I guess the worst story we heard was from a lady. She is living in this neighborhood that just flooded too long because her house in Bel Air burned down. So how unlucky is that? So she's here as a renter. The renter's insurance doesn't cover flood. She lost everything in the fire. She bought everything new. Bring it here. Now everything flooded. And she took some time out to play with Ty. Yeah. She really liked it. So I sent you that video. Day. Yeah, Ty Ty made a day. So. Yeah, Titan. So here's Yahshua. Yahshua is right here and he does leather and he says my couch has actually had pretty good leather. So he's gonna be able now I feel bad throwing away these couches, but at least I know this guy here now is gonna salvage some of it. Make and make personal use out of it. Yeah. I'm gonna make some. And it's gonna be yours when I get it. No problem, we'll pay you for it. Let me show you. So I make stuff like this. That's yeah. What else you make? That's nice. On the phone. So, Houston has a lack of supplies due to Hurricane Harvey. This is a local synagogue uh, right down the street. You just look with the amount of stuff that arrived today. We needed manpower and hours of time to unload all this. This is the man in charge. Hey Benny, where are we located? Where can people get supplies? To have a chesed. Everyone is welcome to come here. Chabad, Maryland, Minyan, UOS. <laughs>
Some of today. Okay, good job, Ty. Ty's pretty excited. <laughs>